How's it going everyone? Sinister of the Gamer Section bringing you another review. And today I uncover Terra Memoria for the Xbox Series S and X, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC. The setting takes place in the land of Terra and the citizens are dealing with a crystal shortage. If that's not bad enough, the enemies called the carcasses are destroying the land. Now our heroes are on an adventure across different lands doing missions to find more crystals and stop the ancient robots from taking over. Graphically, Terra looks amazing, mixing 2D sprites with 3D environments. The character sprites themselves look small with some nice detail. The interaction between the characters is hilarious and you'll see more as, as the game progresses. As for the landscapes, it's well animated like seeing the grass blowing in the wind. However, but the resident stands still only move when they speak to you, but the monsters move around freely. The color scheme is well balanced with lights and darks with shadows being cast. The menus are well put together displaying the stats and objectives popping up when needed. The in-game HUDs are well placed with the D-pad for example being a shortcut to the map area and that's where the animation flows greatly along with the smoothness. For the high-end platforms the game runs at a cool 60 frames per second. The music is cool especially hearing that reggae beat when you talk to a certain character. The sound effects are decent and clear and I commend the devs for their overall presentation mixed in 2D with the 3D world. Terra Memoria is a turn-based RPG set in a 3D world. You can control up to six members of your party that you can switch out at any time when you're in the open world. Each member has their own skills that you can make them stand up, plus others can be added support that gives you the advantage in the field. However, when it comes to strategy, it's best to use the best magic to take them down easily by checking out their weaknesses. Doing major damage sets enemies back at the end of the timeline, plus gives you extra turns. However, enemies can do magic to you as well, but when it comes to battle, you can walk around town and talk to people. Some will give you side quests with objectives to complete. And when it's nice, you can get check marks showing progression towards your goal. And as with RPGs, you gain experience with level up by resting at campfires. Plus, cooking meals gives you permanent benefits because you're going to need it to deal with high level monsters. But when it comes to the pace of the game, it's slow, but it gets better once you level up your skills. Role playing fans should definitely try this game out. When it comes to the flaws of this game, two issues hurt this game, and that are repetitive gameplay and the other is the randomness of the minigames that it's least desired. However, Terra Memorial is good with the visuals and gameplay mechanics that will appeal to season RPG fans. I give Terra Memorial a 4 out of 5. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to drop us a like and subscribe to the channel.